Uh, wale walikuwa jana tuliweza kuangalia kidogo Haya. Tulisema tunaposema I will go as an individual inamaanisha hiyo mwili afya yangu lazima iweze kunialau that I can move out niende kufanya kazi ya Mungu kulingana na vile tulipewa the great commission to go and reach the world. Uh, tukaweza kupata ya kwamba uh, Mungu alipotuumba alituumba kwa mfano wake na mwili ilikuwa perfect lakini because of lack of uh, following the instructions by our parents Adam and Eve shida ikaweza kuingia ya kwamba sasa hakuna ku follow the instructions uh, tuliendelea tuka I'm, I'm sure tulilan mambo kadhaa ya kwamba ni chakula vile tunakula tulimalizia mpaka kupeana examples how we are supposed to eat a few examples lakini bado tukasema tutaendelea kushare hata leo uh, tukamaweza kusema kukunywa maji ni kitu ya maana sana lakini leo bado tunaendelea kusema hii lack of following instructions ilitoka wapi kwa hivyo topic yetu ya leo inasema nini the inception of intemperance Tunakoanga na kipindi cha health and temperance, self control, yeah, moderation. Lakini sasa hii immoderation, shida zote zinatoka wapi? It is because of immoderation. Tunapofanya in excess. We are doing against vile tuliweza kuumbwa tufanye. Ah, uh, tunapata ya kwamba shetani mwenyewe alipokuwa huko mbinguni, aliporushwa chini, he came with some angels. Na yeye mwenyewe sababu the bride ndio ilifanya aweze kutaka kuwa kama Mungu bado alitaka kutawala hata the malaika au walikuwa na yeye yeye alitaka tu kuonekana bado yeye ndiye anawaongoza ana, ana yeye ndiye anasema yeye ndiye kusema We are told that shetani ako na akili mingi sana lakini imena at times hata kama ako na akili mingi hajui kila unafikiria lakini mara mingi huwa tunasema kwa kusema tunaumba agendas anaweza kukujua kwa vile tumetamka mambo yale tuna, tunatamka hakuna akili hiyo so ndio tunaona mwanzo wa intemperance mwanzo wa kufanya mambo vile atukuagizwa tuyafanye ilianzia katika shamba la Edeni na shetani aliendelea kutawala Asubuhi mhubiri wa asubuhi aliweza kutuambia ya kwamba he is very good in corrupting the appetite appetite yetu Hata Yesu mwenyewe aliweza kuwa tempted na nini geuza hii mawe iweze kuwa bread iweze kukula si ndio Kwa hivyo sasa vile tunakula ndio bado tutasema ya kwamba ni vizuri tuangalie tunakula nini because shetani anapenda hapo sana ndio maana mwanzo iliposema ya kwamba man should eat grains and processed foods lakini sasa ikafika tunakula nini processed like when we talk about watu wanakunywa pombe eh? kutumia mfinyo hata uh, sigara vitu zenye zileti afya zenye zinaleta magonjwa ni kwa nini Nasa singine tunaweza kuwa tunakula chakula mzuri sio hiyo pombe sijaweka pombe hapa nikakunywa lakini chakula zingine the way we mix them the reaction ina ina end up kuwa kama ni pombe tu tunakunywa because we are taking them kwa state ile atukuagizwa tuweze kukula hivyo under the influence of liquor or alcohol men are led to commit crimes of all kinds ni kwa nini The mind inakuwa corrupted. The mind inakuwa inapokuwa corrupted unapata hakuna kiasi, hakuna self control. So unapata mambo mengi yanafanyika uh, sababu mtu uh, judgment inakuwa corrupted. The judgment is not good. 
na hiyo yote ni sababu ya vitu zenye tunakula azileti afya yani when i'm putting something in my mouth sijiulizi hii inaenda kunipatia nini yeah tutajuaje chakula nzuri ni gani vitabu ndio hizo ziko mingi sana tuweze kusoma biblia yenyewe tusome ili tuweze kupata mwili yangu inahitaji nini so the leading men by leading men to drink alcohol satan could cause them to descend lower and lower in the scale tumesema aje hata malaika wote yeye alitaka kutawala awe yeye ndiye anasema kwa akili mingi yenye alikuwa nayo instead of eating uh, grains na fruits wao walikuwa wanafanya nini wanazichanganya in that now zimekuwa they have changed the state na hiyo mara mingi zinafanya nini zinaganda fermentation when something has fermented it is not in that state that it's supposed to be food inapokuwa fermented inamaanisha kuna bacteria inafanya kazi hapo which even prevent digestion to be there sasa kumix mavyakura hivyo ikaanza kuleta nini corrupting the mind of man the secret of the enemy is strategic intemperance of any kind benumbs the perceptive organs and so weakens the brain nerve power that in turn is that not things are appreciate are not appreciated kwa hivyo mind inapokuwa corrupted we don't appreciate hata sasa hatujui Mungu ni nani eh? we just do things ah uh, kunapokuwa na harusi tumeona mara mingi wakati wa harusi pastor anasimama anapeana vowels eh? the vowels Uh, mke anasema mimi nitafanya hivi hivi Ma, mwanaume anasema hayo yote lakini wakati inapoingia sasa the mind has been corrupted zile tulisema the promises that we gave unapata yote atuwezi tukafanya but the higher powers of mind designed for elevated purposes are brought into slavery unapata unafanya kitu sababu Like niseme tunaweza kuwa tumeletewa chakula tunakula hata leo tumekula wengi huko chakula mzuri tukafurahi lakini inakuwa wakati kuna wakati mwingine wanakula chakula au upendi lakini unakula sababu umepatiwa Hello kuna wakati unakula ama unasikia mtu anasema ah unajua mimi chakula si vizuri kutubacha tu nikule tu hujaipenda sio nzuri lakini unakula tu ndani ya mwili wako mwili utaelewa So sometimes tunafanya sababu tume, tumewekwa kwa situation fulani lakini sio kupenda ku, kuamua kufanya uh, if our physical appetites are not right our mental and moral powers cannot be strong for great sympathy exists between the physical and the moral ninaweza kukuangalia hivi kuna yani tuko na naweza kuangalia mtu hivi niseme afya yake sio nzuri Uwezi kuwa physically uonekane vizuri lakini at your mental is good. Hizi zinapelekana. Yeah? So ni vizuri tufanya nini? Tulinde hii mwili. Physical appearance matters. For example, if somebody is walking so weak, anaonekana tu weak, tutasema the mental status yake bora mental status ni mzuri. Hizo zinapelekana. So ni vizuri kuangalia tunakula nini na tunakula kwa sababu gani. Shetani anapenda sana appetite yetu. Kwa hivyo tusije tunapokula tusije tukakula sababu that is what is available. Okay. Atuvai kukaa njaa pia. Because mwili pia ukiacha na njaa hiyo itakuwa ni shida. But we have the the powers ni same the choice to make. Ndio maana tuliumbwe tofauti kuliko uh, animals. We have a decision to make kile tumepata ya kukula tuangalie tunakula kwa sababu gani tusije tuka corrupt the mind satan comes to man as he came to christ to corrupt us to make us eat what is not right na naona tunapenda chapati sana chapati kuna mtu ukimunyima chapati uh, ni kama hujampatia chakula lakini hata wasabota tunapenda chapati sana si ni kweli Chapo ni tamu. So mara mingi tunasema mkate. Unajua mkate na chapati sioni tofauti ni gani? Si ni ngano. 
Sasa tunapokula hiyo wakati wote. I will always I will remind you again today. Utajuaje kama uko na hiyo afya unapokula hiyo chakula. Digestion yake iko. Ile inavaa kutoka, inatoka. Uh, so, when you come unaniambia ya kwamba mimi uh, siandangi cho lakini ah ainisumi siandangi rais hivyo na unaona mtu ako soba na ajasumbuka ako very comfortable you know those are the small things that should make us bother about kile tumekula because tunapokula hiyo ngano kila saa kila saa of course the digestion becomes the problem So now uyu shetani he overcame Adam and Eve in Eden through appetite. He is also coming to man that way. Ndio maana sasa hii kuna nini? Kuna chakula mingi uh, watu wanatumia uh, even drugs zinatumika sana, pombe inatumika sana, crimes are going to the rice. Sana sana utaona if somebody is taking care of self afya yako iko nzuri sana sana you are not related to the crimes crimes sana sana unapata kuna some corrupted minds ndio maana there are so many crimes even watoto wetu wadogo watoto wadogo pia unapata nowadays even before 20 years they are involved in funny funny things ni mingi sana tunaona hata kwa news uh, lakini tunapofuata sana you find that kuna vitu ndogo ndogo wameanza kutumia mara kuna biscuits mara kuna nini zimemixiwa na madawa sisi wasazi mara mingi hatujui uh, tunaweza kuwa tunaangalia watu wazima tu ati sisi kanisani labda tukunywi pombe lakini we are affected in one way or another sababu hao watoto wetu wanatoka si wote wanasoma kwa mashule anawaelekeza vizuri but there is that kuna some opportunities zinapatikana unapata wame in uh, a away in groups where they can be corrupted na wanafanya vitu mbaya the entire cities have been plotted from the face of the earth because of depressing crimes and revolving iniquity that made them a plot upon the the universe the indulgence of appetite was the foundation of all sins even now it is mambo mengi magonjo mengi many people are suffering uh, tukifuata vizuri unapata ni mambo ya chakula nilisikia mmoja akisema hapa awa msemaji mwenye amesoma hapa mbele ameweza kusema hapa tukiauliza utapata watu wengi wanatembea na dawa na sio kupenda kwao Some many utapata ni ignorance. Sababu hii mwili kama inavaa mwili ikiwa na afya. Tulisema jana tuliweza kusema about acidity. If 80% ya mwili yako umeipea chakula mzuri iko alkaline. 20% ni acidic. That is a very healthy body. Mwili inapokuwa na afya hivyo utapata magonjwa mengi hayata kupenda. Hayata kupenda. Na pia hata um, If we take care of our weight, weight yako iko mzuri, utajuaje weight yako ni mzuri? Pima kilo zako, pima height yako. Hiyo itaweza kukuambia what are you carrying? Are you carrying extra fat? Are you okay? So, vitu kama hizo ni ndogo ndogo lakini tunavaa tufanya nini? Tuangalie. Tusike tukaangalia ya kwamba at mimi sikunywi pombe sasa hizo vitu zote mimi my mind is okay. The way we mix foods, we should be keen on that. Tutajuaje? Tusome vitabu. Najua dada yetu hapo nyuma akipatiwa wana hawa asimama hapa mbele labda tuambie juu ya vitabu za afya najua kuna mambo mengi atasema lakini nilikuwa nimekaa hapo karibu nikaangalia hata bila kuangalia leo nilipatika kuishi na mama yangu akiuza vitabu miaka mingi sana hata saa hii ameweza kuritaya lakini what she used to do vitabu kama hizo nzuri yani yeye alikuwa anauza ni kama anakufosi na anaweza kukuangalia ona huu ni mgonjwa. Anakufosi kitabu, nilikuwa no, nakwambia sasa mama, na asipo kulipa. <laughs> ni wengi sana walikuwa wanaenda na vitabu zake bila kumulipa. Si ndio anasema, "Ayo utalipa tu pole pole pole." Yaani yeye anataka uchukue kitabu ufanye nini? Usome. So nilikuwa naangalia angalia tu the health foods. Hiyo kitabu sijui ilikuwa ni 3000 oh. ni pesa mingi. Okay, si mingi ukiangalia afya yako because how expensive are you or how cheap are you? Pati wengi usema, ay, vitabu ni expensive. Lakini kuna, there are varieties. 
So she could give somebody. So nikuwa naangalia hapo, nikaona variety of foods that you are supposed to eat. Ata inaelekeza vizuri nasema about the diseases, diabetes, you can eat this and this, this and this. Sasa, tu, atuta sema hatujui because tukona opportunity ya kusoma. Kama mimi nimesoma hapa na sijanunua, nimeangalia tu lakini sijanunua. So, ni vizuri tuweza kuangalia tujue ni nini mwili yetu unahitaji ili hii appetite yetu isikuwe ndio opportunity ya kutumika vibaya ili tuweze kupata magonjwa mbalimbali mbali. um, in the last days when vice uh, crimes are every form are rapidly increasing there is a tendency to become so familiar with existing conditions that we lose sight of their cause and of their significance. Uh, in the society, to say kwa hii generation, um, ata kwa kanisa. Kuna watu wengi labda mtu walikuwa nakuja kanisani lakini hamewacha. Ama, tumeone example ya viongozi wetu. Mtu wanapo kuwa busy, hamekuwa kiongozi, sasa unapata Hata nafasi ya kuja kanisa, hayuko. And because of the kind of meetings we get, we, we, we involve ourselves. Tuwacha hata viongozi. Viongozi wanasafiri sana. Hata sisi, sisi mtu wakawaida. Sometimes, are we in groups? Unachipata in a group, uh, you are eating food, lakini mara, kawaini, kameletua, nini, kidogo, kidogo, unasema ni leo peke yake. So there are so many, come December, hivi, when there are so many parties, you find that we might find ourselves, ni wa Christo ndiyo, lakini tutachipata kwa mambo, yenye, aileti afya yetu ikuwe mzuri. More intoxicating liquors are used today than never before. Than ever before. And in the horrible details of revolving drunkenness and terrible crime, the newspapers give a partial report of the story of the reluctant lawlessness. Si mambo mengi tunapenda tukifika jioni, tunataka kukaa tuone news. Mambo si yote yanaweka kwa news. Kuna mambo ingina labda tumuona kwa estate penye tunaishi, lakini atuja yona kwa news. So, ni wangapi wanaona mambo kama hayo, ata ya vijana vijana, Ata in the families leading to fights and even people killing themselves because of what? Ukiangale vizuri the basis ni mambo kama hayo ya pompe, kukula vibaya, na groups, you know, kukosa na kosa na kwa family. So violence is in the land. Tumeona watu wengi sana wanauwana. Mtu ume lala na mtu miaka kama kumi ni, ni bibi yako, ni buwana yako. What is this that makes somebody kill a partner? wameishi na yeye. Ono ona yu ni? Hata saa hii. Hile inaendelea. Kila wakati ukiangalia hata news kuna hile inaendelea. Ha? Mtu wameumiza, amekatisha maisha yake. Sababu ya nini? Ni kukorrupt the mind. Tunapo ongea mamba ya depression. Uh, the mind. Kitambo mtu wakuja kuwa na depression. Na stress. Unmanaged. Ha? So, ndiyo unapata, inaendelea ambaka inaffect mtu. Sasa, unaishi ni kama unavaa kuishi hivo. But, you end up doing things that you regret. Sahi, tunaona hata mungina anachitolea ye mwenyewe kusema amekuwa kikunywa damu ya watoto. Tumaona hayo. Sini mtoto mdogo sana. What do you think is causing this? Ndiyo mana tunaona the, the, the beginning of this lack of self-control. Ni kwa nini there is no that lack of self-control? Na nimeona sijafuata hiyo news vizuri lakini unaona anasema kabisa sio kupenda kwake lakini alianza kitambo what is that Tunavaa tuombe sana na tunapoomba tufike watoto wetu karibu okay kama mimi nilipo ni, nikichukua ni picha yangu ya huko nyumbani because huyu mtoto niliona ni kama anatoka western hata mimi mwenyewe tulipokuwa tuna grow wazazi wa Nairobi ama mko towns mnafanya kazi mingi sana me, I remember, kitambo yangu ilikuwa, 1985, 84 there, 81, nikisoma. Uh, nilikuwa nafanya mamba yote peke yangu. Mama yangu yuko tu, lakini kazi zake tu. So, shula nilikuwa na jiambia niende. Kama nikuwa muka subui, misi kuwa na amushua. Kulikuwa na breps, omu waki umefanya, jamani. Lakini hile tumefanya hapa Nairobi. 
mtoto ni wewe lazima umkalie hapo afanye yani kuna kazi mingi sana so ndio nasema na imagine mtoto kama huyu wazazi wetu wa huko nyumbani hawana time hata hawajui kama wanataka yeye yeah, anasema ni kwenda kwa shamba si hata tulikuwa tunatoka kwa shule niende ni kutoka shule si hata ni homework nienda mtoni nilete maji nienda nilime kidogo si ni kubadilia nini vitu kama hizo so there is that possibility ya kwamba ni watoto wa wala wana grotu ana grotu ila atakutana nayo mzazi ajui lakini ni maombi yetu ya kwamba Mungu aweze kutuwezesha hao watoto tunarudi tu chini tunawafika tu karibu ili tuweze kuwaelewa kidogo mara unajua kitu yenye imeanza unaweza kuinotice kama uko karibu kuangaliana kwa macho hivi kuna some things Mungu atakufungulia njia uweze kufanya nini kuona so there are so many things that are happening that asikuwa zinatendeka kitambo so ni kwa nini ndio maana unaona inasemekana ya kwamba many many things very horrible things even violence has is in the increase unapata mtu mnapendana mtoto anaamka anaua wazazi wote you know those are the things that are happening lakini kuna zile zimetendeka kwa estate na sijatangazwa so there are so many zile tunaona ni, ni percentage kidogo tu So now why is this alcohol and crimes ama kukula vibaya kutolinda hii mwili mbona inapelekana na crimes ama na mambo mabaya People are led to do things from which if they had not tested and the maddening drugs they could have shrunk in aura kama mtu alikuwa soba kuna mambo mengine mimi for example ninaangalia huyu amefanya for example tunapoangalia kesi ya Caroline mimi ninaangalia nasema guy this beautiful girl she is so beautiful mama yake unaona anasumbuka tu kabisa lakini yeye her view kama angeweza kusema story yake her view and my view is different si ndio eh, kama wewe mwenyewe labda una una, una, una stress hakuna you have not gone through some torture Wesi elewa from her position. And ndio maana tunasema ni vizuri ku encourage even talking this talking talking to one another ili ka kitu kadogo kamesumbua ni vizuri kushare. Unajua these small small things ndio zinaleta vitu kubwa. Hata magonjwa yenye tunaumia sana yameanza na kitu kidogo kidogo. Ninapokuwa naamka tu asubuhi mimi naumwa tu kichwa na kuanga na skin problems all through naenda napaka dawa kidogo inapotea unajua those are the small things zenye zinakuja zinaleta kitu kile kinalipuka baadaye tuseme for example mimi ninasema like this one lady you told me amekuwa na ulcer stomach ulcer for 15 years 15 years unajua what an ulcer is an ulcer ni gidonda unaweza kuwa na gidonda hapo ukakaa 15 years Sita shughulika kabisa kabisa hata wiki moja iwe imepona. Sababu naiona. Lakini hizi za ndani. Naweza kuwa labda kuna mmoja hapo sio huyo eh I'm giving an example. Ye mwenyewe hajaipata mtu wa kumwambia anything else. Lakini amekuwa na hiyo and how did I know that? Tunakula tu. In a group tunakula. Then you find somebody so choosy. Ah mimi sikuli mboga, mimi sikuli hii, mimi sikuli chumvi, sikuli what? Vitu mingi. So I get concerned. Ni kwa nini? Eh mimi nimekuwa hivyo. Eh miaka ngapi? 15. Or the skin has issues. That is why unapatanga mtu anakuja kuambiwa uko na kansa na iko fourth stage. Kwa nini? Si mingi zinakuanga zinakuja kama zimelipuka. Ni kwa nini? Kuna those small small things. Let us be concerned with the small small things. Unapokuwa unaenda kwa daktari leo, kesho umeenda kwa daktari as much as sio pombe peke yake nao nataka tutoke kwa saidi ya pombe tuangalie kwa food tuko hapa i'm very sure sijaona mtu amekuja hapa kama anastaga so i'm assuming no one is here mwenye amekunywa pombe si ndio that's what i'm assuming but tusiangalie pombe peke yake ndio mbaya nimesema chakula tunaweza kuwa tunakula chakula vibaya alafu ndio inaharibu mwili yako for example inapofikia wakati wewe uko na hiyo eh ukuli hii ukuli hii sababu ulikuwa unakula kitambo so many will say that uh, mimi nilikuwa ninakula lakini siku hizi niko very keen on what i eat eh kitambo sikuwa najali nakula nini lakini saa hii 
ninajali ni kama ulikuwa na sahani unakula chakula chafu chafu si mwili ilikuwa inaingia ndani lakini sasa umewacha lakini unaendelea kuweka chakula mbaya kwa hiyo sahani si sahani ita contaminate that is the thing tu, tunapoenda kwa daktari atatupatia dawa madaktari wetu wanafanya kazi nzuri ndio lakini can i tell you one thing hiyo dawa peke yake ukiwa na githeri ya dawa wewe unabeba kila wakati ni dawa ni dawa that is not your solution hiyo sio solution ya afya yako tulifundishwa ama i'm in that line tulifundishwa kwamba prevention is better than cure not cure but what are we doing now curing because unapokuja leo unaumwa tumbo pewa actols pewa flagel kesho ukuja kichwa inauma you know those things inapelekana but at the end of the day ni your colon ndiko na shida damu inatembea ikiwa imebeba uchafu ukiniambia leo hujaenda cho kesho leo jana ukuenda cho lakini kukula umekula meal zote sile mliniambia meal tatu it depends hiyo meal inabeba ni hiyo meal inabeba nini so when we eat like that we end up having small issues lakini hatushughuliki nazo ndio maana zinaletanga these big things mtu ako na ka stress kidogo sababu anakaa tu amenyamazwa naona fulani amenyamaza tu hapo no one bothers mama labda unaona mtoto wako anakuja akikuja akiona mko hapo anakaa na huko anakaa na huko ah unasema ah si yako na yake tu anaendelea tu hivyo ila wakati utakuja kusikia kile kitu amefanya ni something imekuwa accumulated it has been there mpaka sasa kama ni stress imeingia depression so ni Mungu atusaidie tuweze kushughulika na zile vitu ndogo ndogo because vitu ndogo ndio zinaleta vitu kubwa so e alcohol and crimes they are related yes because they do what the alcohol corrupts the mind lakini pia ninapokuwa mimi ni dawa na kunywa kila saa kila saa i'm also corrupting my mind the brain will not think the same because that is making your body too acidic si semi tuache kukunywa dawa ndio tutumie dawa lakini tusikae hapa ati sasa hii dawa ndio inaendelea kunisaidia like there's one thing maybe daktari anaweza kukuambia wewe uko na diabetes huu utakunywa dawa milele hapana hakuna ya kukunywa milele angalia chakula vizuri chukua kitabu hapa soma vizuri about kukula detoxification is a program that we need to do all of us i i, I sometimes get people Mtu amefanya hiyo program ya detoxification alafu anakuambia eh hey mama nilienda choo choo inanuka alafu mwingine ananiambia eh hey, mista kiki kitu ya kukula naienda choo sasa hiyo choo inanuka ni vizuri kaa ndani ni vizuri baki ndani tuseme tunapoangalia nyasi kama hii nyasi inapokuwa fresh green ngombe ipite hapa iweke ile yake hapo itoe it 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 is chache hapo ienda cho hapo si ndio ukiangalia vizuri kuanzia jioni ama kesho itakuwa imechoma hapo because of what the acidic the, the whatever cho inapotoka it is acidic sasa yako isipotoka it is acidic also because ina make walls za ndani sipate vidonda vidonda si ndio alizerations sasa ukiacha ikae hapo leo ikae hapo kesho you know haitoki what do you think is happening kitambo mtu waambiwe uko na ulcers you have an ulcer now or you have h pylori vitu kama hizo those are the languages squeezes iko h pylori sasa wao unapatiwa kit madawa ya kukunywa mingi alafu mtu anakuambia eh nimekunywa mimi hizo ah mimi nimepona hapana sio kupona ni kupona ni kutuliza tunapoangalia saidi ya chakula sasa if we really want to think about our minds our soberness our physical appearance our morals tutaangalia hiyo chakula tunakula inatufanya tunaenda choo vizuri choo vizuri ni 12 to 24 hours unatoa sio 2 3 days na mara zingine uh, jana nilijaribu kusikiza mmoja wa kusema vile anakula kidogo kidogo nakula kidogo kidogo how many meals a day you are supposed to eat your body kikula one meal one meal vizuri ushibe you don't need that food again sometimes you see what mlabda mulisoma nao kitambo mtu amezeka amezeka you know watu wanaambia watoto wanasema mimi are you sure huyu sio ha mulisoma naye kweli you know sababu within ile miaka tumeachana kidogo mtu amekuwa na mambo mingi ha 
magonjwa yamepita na anaishi tu you know like now you look at somebody anakuambia mimi nimeambiwa anaishi na madawa but kama ali mkule look at what that somebody is eating lazima anza mkate sukari vichiko tatu you know we have to be concerned wakati unapatia uh, like even soda even coca cola unapata mtu ana lazima nisipa kunywa coca cola mimi sija kunywa you are just shattering your bones these are things we should look at tusiangalie pombe huko nje peke yake shida iko kwetu penye tuko kwa kumix vyakula vibaya ni vizuri tusome tunakula aje hata wala tunakula mboga peke yake i have people who anasema ya guzi nyama kabisa nyama hata iwe ni kuku iwe za maki tunasemanga at white meat nzuri ya yeah, guzi hizo zote ni wa mboga 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 kabisa but look at that mboga imejaa sahani lakini imepikwaje imeiva ikaisha that is chunk eh? <laughs> imepikwa mpaka ikaisha si ndio i was there one time ilikuwa mimi mtu akitoka nyumbani i have my brothers so mtu anapoenda nyumbani mimi nasema mlete mboga mingi mimi nataka tu mboga then i sit maybe on a sunday i prepare ninachemsha ninaweka kwa freezer freezer kubwa sasa mimi najua miezi mbili niko na nini na mboga do you know hizo sio mboga that is junk because ile chlorophyll kwa, kwa ile mboga iliisha kitambo yeah So ni vizuri tuangalie tusikae tukasema ah sisi tunakula mboga tu mboga hapana you can eat the mboga but it is not giving your body what it needs we look at the nutritional value tupike managu wale wanajua managu ama saga umeosha vizuri umepika sasa so, ile unachemsha unaweka maji then ile maji yako unatoa unamwaga ile ndio chakula unamwaga kunywa kama maji just drink it afadhali ingie kwa system yako kuliko kufanya nini eh? tumekuwa lazy sikuizi hata mboga tunakatiwa unakatiwa sukuma sababu unaona unauamini una, yule ni kama akuosha vizuri sasa wewe imekatwa na unaiosha there is nothing you are eating the green that you are throwing that is what your system needs lakini haya yote hatutajua hivi tu ati tulizaliwa tukajua that is why we need to read books hata kama wewe ni mwalimu isikuwe ni mwalimu wa kusoma vitabu za watoto pekee Hapana, soma something ya kukusaidia kukuongeza something. Learn something. Hata kama ni housewife, nisikue mimi kazi yangu ni kupika tu. Kupika tu leo, kesho, eh? Let me do something. Hata ile kupika. Pika something with this challenging you. Pika kitu tofauti yenye hujaipika. So, chakula tuichukulie, tusiichukulie raisi sana. Okay sisi kama mimi penye natoka tuna koroga haraka haraka hivi watu wetu wanatoka ta Mombasa siko na watoto wetu wametoka Mombasa wale wanaanza kupika mapema pole pole tu pole pole tu sisi na safika hiyo in 20 minutes nimamaliza kupika vitu tatu nne na koroga haraka haraka you know but i wish angalia kila utapika na uangalie kitasaidia nini familia yako that is the one. na tusisema una pesa we don't look at money vila uko hivyo kuna kukula unakula ni nini unakula it can be you can use little money nunua ndizi hapa ndizi ya green kata kata steam and eat ikiwa na maganda sasa ningekuambia ukule na maganda utaniambia huyu yuko serious there is a lot for us to know about how we eat hii mwili tutaisaidia aje so alcohol and home look at drunkards home tu anakunywa pombe anaweza lose yule bibi sio bibi ni mke eh hey, mke anaweza fika mahali akachoka akaenda watoto wanaweza fika mahali wakose chakula wakose hata school fees and basically utapata ni ya kwamba ni sababu kuna kukunywa mzee amezoea ni kukunywa tu pesa kidogo anapitia huko anapopitia huko anapata wenzake anamwambia akisi ununulie leo kifika nyumbani bibi mke ameumia familia imeumia kwa hiyo mtu anasapoteza familia sababu ya kukunywa pombe hata mtu mwenye anakunywa unaweza angalia hata macho ukaogopa yani physical appearance inaharibika skin inaharibika inakauka you know because pombe yenyewe inakausha inakausha sasa tuacha pombe. Chakula ninapokula vibaya siendi cho vizuri, sikunyi maji vizuri. 
Hata ninaweza kuwa na kunywa maji mengi sana lakini mwili haichukui sababu imefungana ndani. When the body is too acidic, imefungana ndani. So I can drink a lot of water. Mtu anakuambia, "Ah, mimi naweza kunywa hiki buyu yote." Lakini mwili inachukua kiasi gani? We need to open. Open. So detoxification ni kila mtu anavaa afanye aoshe huko ndani vile tunaoshanga choo vile tunasuguanga choo na happy na nini choo ikiwa inaonekana safi si tuna sina scrap unanua jik happy eh choo ni hii tuna flash una flash unaona kila kitu imeenda lakini si unasugua naona vitu zinatoka let us all think how we do that in our system ili tusiweze ku accumulate acid kaenda juu our reasoning memory yetu ikapotea that is our memory can get lost because the, the cells is not affected cell yako isipochukua maji ya kutosha they become so affected so mungu atusaidie sababu ya masaa tuweze kujali tujali vile tunakula tusome vitabu na mara mingi labda useme usisema una pesa ya kununua unajua health tips zingine hata tunasoma kwa magazeti kuna watu ununua kwa gazeti every day every day angalia zile columns zimeandikwa about ziko ya yeah? ama google tumia simu yako google and see even you can say eating fruits which are the good fruits in the morning which are the good fruits in the evening vitu kama hizo ndogo ndogo tusikuwe na excuses if you know the body is yours afya ni yako utachukua chukumu ya kufikiria ni nini utafanya ili uweze kukusaidia kwa afya yako tuko pamoja kengele imelia sijui ni mateka ngapi simebaki kuna swali ama addition sasa singine unaweza ongea ukaongea mambo yenye sio kweli. Kuna swali ama in addition Tuko sawa. Tumepata kitu. Ah niliangalia ukiongea juu ya chakula kuna watu wengine wanaona mtu anakasirika. Ni kama umeguza kitu fulani hataki uguze. Yaani there's um, unajua physical arena inaweza kukuangalia nikasema ah. Yeah? So tusije tukaona ni kama tunakuwa attacked. Yeah we can be eating tunafanya vitu mbaya yes lakini mwili ni yako Can I tell you for free Kenya we are leading with cancer cases Kenya tuna lead why Kenya tunapenda sukari sana Sie tena hata mimi ni mkenya ndio lakini it is very true Even statistics can tell us that Situjali sisi Na nilisema siku nyingine nitasema tu leo our breakfast Let us look at breakfast. Ni nini tunafanya? You need to eat something to make you to be productive that day. Don't eat vitu mzuri ulale. Let us try to do it the opposite. Si ndio? Si ati nimechoka sasa pike chakula haraka ni kule. Jioni ndio anapikiwa vizuri because lunch yako kula vizuri asubuhi alikuwa nyaka chai, you know. So let us try to reverse that na tutaona tofauti kubwa sana. Mungu awabariki. Niliona hii wiki sijaona watu wakiuliza maswali na mimi ninajua hii makambi ya utawala wanasoma tu kabisa na wanashika tu maneno na Mungu awabariki lakini panga kuuliza swali na mimi nasemanga hivi i always give my number like call and cleansing if you talk to me kuna wale wameniongelesha na kuna wale wanataka kuongea take my number 0723 82 Sana sana kama wewe unakuwa na shida leo na kunywa kichwa na kuuma kesho nini tuonge ama wewe umekuwa mambo ya age by road umetibiwa mara mbili mara tatu tafadhali usikae ukasema ati mimi nilipona hakuna kupona na dawa dawa inatuliza but there is that root cause hata hao madaktari wanawazaidia walipokuwa wanasoma shule walisoma aje prevention is better than cure what are we doing now curing has become more than prevention we should go back to the root where we came from mungu awabariki sijui ni kwaya inaingia ama nafasi ni ya kwaya tupe umalekeo god bless you Ah, sawa. Sababu naambiwa tunaingia kipindi kingine tutaomba kwa kumaliza kipindi yetu. Let's pray. Our most gracious master Bath, dear Lord, we come before you.
I want to thank you so much for you are so good to us. You've planned and you helped, uh, helped us, all of us, to be here. Thank you for all the programs that you've taken us through, Lord. Father, I believe you have good plans for us, whatever that we've learned. May you help us so that we 